favors. As you can see here, we have our straight line. We made our cut against the board. So that way we have a straight line and we're gonna lay the first row. The row that pattern that we're gonna lay is the runner. One small one and one of uh, these rectangles. You can see there. Chicos, ya tengo puros grandes, pero no chicos. I have to get smaller ones because I don't have any smaller. Very easy, if you can see here the install. When you put a paper down, you want to put it against, drop it down, and then with your own hand, you can move it. Make sure we have a space on there for the sand. So like this, and just enough space so we can put the lay the sand down. So I really like this slim line. It's a very straightforward install. Very easy paver to handle. Super nice color and the customer really likes it. And we'll see you on the next one. low profile because it's short and we're about to lay this snap edge here so the first thing we do is we have to clean everything off so it's nice and clean and this is our edge everything has to be nice and clean we're gonna lay the first one and when you lay snap etch, we use these nails. So these nails rust over time. Okay, you put the first one, you wanna put it up this corner. And then every two is fine. See there, right here. Take two, and when you put the snap edge, you can hold it nice and tight. The other one, the important part of the snap edge, make sure everything is clean. You 
can see here. All the edge has to be clean. That way it fits nice and tight. These are by far my favorite. Low profile, like I said, because it's shorter. I basically use this one for every paver size and it's perfect for this smaller paver. The only thing you gotta watch out for with the snap edge and the nails is irrigation pipes. But since here we don't have any irrigation pipes, we should be fine. And you can use this wheel if you have one of those. And you see, just like that, it's simple. You put in the uh, snap edge, and we'll see you on the next one.